because you're thinking, hey, is this a My Three Monsters video? No, I just decided to use My Three Little Islands. So I just got done watching it. This is kind of embarrassing. The episode Shirt Club, the only episode he hasn't seen up to this point. Well, yeah, I know. Watch it. Yeah, just watched it. So now he's completely caught up on the series. Yeah. Relax, I am. Hmm? Even, Even though I know in my video in, in Overrated Ocean, I acted like I didn't know. Oh shit! I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But I act. But I have seen in both episodes. It's just been a while. It's just been and forever. Been in been an entire year. Like we said, we didn't get it back into Steven Universe. Let's so a, a last also, minute. one of the reasons I'm using the Island. It sounds awesome. Let me show you another reason. I obtained. Three monsters. Well, you might earn this event. You've probably already seen one of them. And I've seen a sneak peek of me about to obtain another. Come here. Let us show you my rare ethereal mm. collection. He got them all to level I, 10. I just recently leveled them all up to level 10. My rare grumpire. His name is Terry Dex. Oh, his proof. His proof. His name is Terry Dex. Are you, I keep it in there. I'm keeping it in there default news. A newt. I can't see shit. There. Newt. And finally. Glenstone. My friend. I got it. You didn't use your You be fabulous. <laughs> Took from right kitty right to centaur. The, these Cat, those, those are those are my rare cereal. Also, if you don't I, remember my top five rares list, I fucking love rare grumpire. Mm -hmm. uh, intimidating monsters is what I, what I, it, intimidating or inner or or, or or visually appealing you know, monsters is what rare is what I, I mean what I strive for. I myself don't have any rare cereals as well. I haven't transported ethereal. I bred both rare geode and rare gazder who are in the, the ethereal who are in the rare ethereal riser. Yeah, sadly no hybrids since well there are only two. Yeah. Also we will probably be getting I get a feeling they're going to introduce at least two or maybe three new Hybrid when they do the double element my ethereal promotion. Let's see, maybe Probably just us two. Oh, rare uh Bellafish? Uh, I know there were other rare theories. What was the, what was the other hybrid? Oh, oh, oh. In, in the video. I know there was one. There was one that I think. What was it? Was it rare socks? Okay, let's list them. There's not rare Voodoo, not rare Zillion, not rare Nebula, not rare Heraculele, not rare Air Wisp. Wisp, not rare Sax, not rare Gel. It, it, it was just rare Bellafish. That yeah, we had all that was discovered from the files recently. <coughs> that was the most recent one. We discovered. <laughs> one of my torches just went out. Yeah. And my right torches. Out. My torch. Look, look, record this. And my yeah, torches it. are literally going out as we speak. <laughs> torches just went out. Because every if you light your torches every that twenty four hours, or if uh, uh, if you light your torch yourself every twenty four hours, <laughs> or the way your torches is is, is every twenty four hours because okay we're kind of getting off topic. Okay, so this is a top. This isn't a, like I said. This isn't an MSN. No, right, right, right. You should have written a list. <laughs> so, eh, don't worry, I can come up with them. I know what your favorite is already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my top ten funniest Steven Universe ever. What is number ten? Number ten is, uh... Oh, I mentioned this in, uh... Catalepto uh, Dank Memes. The one you just watched. Yeah. It's, 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 these aren't, aren't, be, aren't based on if I liked it or not. Is it most it's, of those are, this is a funny, a this hilarity is, chart. This is cataloging how funny these episodes were. This one, one was dank me. It was just pure dank memes, and and it had a solid plot too. It, all right, all it, was, it was pretty good for filler. Well, I want I don't know if I'd say filler. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny for an. 
<laughs> and plus, this episode sponsors only me. Guitar Dad Dad's you. Buck shedding a single tear. There, the assassination I've been June. sure. <laughs> I've been sure. <laughs> Steven is sponge. Also, oh. Also, Buck Buck himself. Also, uh, Buck is just pure hilarious. And the Dewey movie. Yeah, I mean, isn't Buck Dewey always the funniest? Is the cool thing? Because he acts usually. He's just act so. He's just so deadpan. <laughs> My garden. Lapis was deadpan. deadpan. Lapis. He's yeah. just stoic most of the time. Maybe, maybe this isn't. Is it, is it Lars? Maybe he's actually a good person that wants makes people feel. Good. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, let's, uh, 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 number no, number nine. Don't worry, bro. None of this is canon. Say uncle. The episode I love, I want, I like to, to defend. And for people, sure. a lot of people don't like it because it was just a uh, because it was well, I, guys, you take a joke. This <laughs> is an April Fool's joke. It was made out. It was released out. Also, can I bring up the promotional art art for this one? Can I? Yeah. The promotional art was <laughs> all the gems as Uncle Grandpa's. <laughs> and with a shoot sh in a giant robo suit. Also, something bizarre was this episode is called non-canon. However, two things. First of all, it's been given a canon in in time place in the timeline and before jailbreak. And two, Steven has learned to use his, his shield. You 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 use his gem powers much better, better after the episode. My my idea is that also that Clarence and Uncle Grandpa crossover hasn't happened yet. Uh, you know that? Maybe they're saving. The oh, sorry, sorry about that. Maybe they're saving that for next year. Yeah, I guess. Because that was the last one up on a, on his list. And uh, yeah, the episode is misunderstood. Way too much. Much. I'm serious. So, what else would be on this list? Number eight. Your num your coordinates today are sixteen W. Oh fuck! You said it. Your co your lucky numbers today are twenty-seven, sixteen, and W. <laughs> Putting those into a into no, a into, <laughs> in the com in actually, the I don't think those are the exact numbers. I think I switched twenty-seven to sixteen. Yeah. Put but those in the coordinates, and you actually get it. it, it the coordinates for for uh, the jump for for the forest. Yeah. For, in, 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 in forest. Well, yeah. Random um, plot significance. Which a for I mean, there's only one other place in a forest we know of. Well, don't forget Onion Gang. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. forest. Mm -hmm. Not Onion Gang, but another one with the more prominent forest that and this and that's it, it, and that's like a forest in Brazil that it went to. So even does not live anywhere near Brazil. <laughs> so so that means that that must be sent to people's ships. They're saying, what episode is this? Well, by that robotic voice. Future Boys Voltron. You know, the episode that had a, had a very confusing advertisement. And also, Stephen was completely savage in this one. You got, uh, maybe you actually like seeing in, 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 Lars, you actually like seeing in City at work. <laughs> I said, Voltron says, you, you should definitely sh you have your own room. Stephen was like, <laughs> he just doesn't want them to have nope. room. That's that's too much work. <laughs> also, yes, this sparked the new shipping in 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 which Alex is going by Pokemon I'm, I'm, I'm logic. It theater ship. A theater ship. Yes, we're going by Pokemon logic with ship. We introduced the awkwardly e e depressed Quentin Frowny. Quentin Frowny. Frowny. His name is literally Mr. Frowny. Yeah, and Mr. Smiley used to be a comedian. How did yeah. how did it how just so happen the two people named Mr. Smiley and Mr. Frowny knew each other? Yeah. That's a, a coincidence if I was. Also, the, the, the title Future, Garnet barely had a role in this episode. She did it be here, like we all But only for a, a minute? Like, 50 seconds? Is that it? 50 seconds? Just kiss Steven on the forehead and after standing by at a post, oh, stop, up, tell old Mr. Frowny, check it out, and then she left. Mm -hmm. After, 
no, she van- no, she vanished! I guess I should say. And she freaking vanished, and she hasn't been seen in since. I guess we're not gonna see Garnet for a while. Yeah. Okay. That is tradition. And, is he, and Mr. Smiley did have, have a shot to redeem himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, after being, after, or the last time we saw him. Oh, him as, oh, him as a dick bag. Watch my video. Oh, that wasn't the last time we saw him. The last time we saw him, what do you mean? Oh, oh, so you saw him? Yes. That wasn't the last time we saw him. I know, the mo- him. You're forgetting about Too Short to Ride. Yeah, well, at least Too Short to Ride. Uh, at least he, yeah. he's an appearance was, was a detainee and too short to ride. Look, Onion is saying he tried to set the roller coaster on fire. That leads me to number seven. Evan, look, Mr. Smiley, Onion's trying to set the roller coaster on fire. Like I'm really gonna fall. Oh. Too oh. short to ride. Too short to ride. Too short. Or my 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 dick is too short to ride. Oh God. Too sorry, guys. Too short sure to ride. <laughs> okay. Hair not get it's fair Kinesis. That's not the part of the episode, but... <laughs> now, also, the description was kind of, kind of, misleading. No, Steven... Um, uh, Steven and Amethyst, it's, it's go over uh, the, over the, over the, the fun land, and, and, and when their friend is too short, but their friend can't get on the ride. However, the thing is, people thought this would mean a new fusion. No, nope, no fusions whatsoever. Even though there was a to be announced that ounce part character, or, or although no one else appeared, was that supposed to be Onion? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Mr. Shot, or Mr. Smiley redeemed himself after being oh, a huge mean. dick bag. And the last time you in the last one. Oh, oh, we saw him. Yeah, an entire year, almost a year, half a year. You know that? Half a fucking year. Here over him for us to see him again. Yeah. That's pretty much what week one was, was focused on. Yeah. Is on, on, on showing, shed, shedding light on, on human characters. I, for, I forgot to show sure part of the game week one. Yeah. What, you thought it was in week two? Yeah. Jeez. Also, this is the, this, also, he might Garden Bear would only appeared in one episode of Od Odin. Odin, 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 week one. And then that was Steven Floats. Okay, so then, and uh, Steven, then, okay, so also, Paradox learns, okay, Paradox gets a tablet, she's too, she can't, well, she's, well, too short to write, write any, any raw, too short to write anything. And, uh, and, well, hilarious Paradox, I'm learning to figure out how it works. Earth and she says she can't Paradox Earth two in Paradox can't shape shit. And also Prime Lapidot uh, 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 see. Looking for any I forgot to mention this in my review. Looking for any cute roommates? Find cute roommates in Also, it it said Lapis Lazuli mentioned in the wiki page. She is the implied to be Paradox cute roommates. Yes, you heard me. <laughs> And this was a lot, this was before beta, a month before beta. Me and the relationship, were, uh, it, me and the relationship imp only improved after beta. We improved after this. Uh, it's, it says, we heard her Paradox coin her in, in, in Lapis for cute roommate. I love this shipping. Also, I'm sorry, I'm such okay, a we'll talk about uh, the incident some other time. Wait, um, two shows right, ironically, we just into our next episode, right? Yep. Beta, the <laughs> controversial episode, not for uh, real life locations, but uh, harassment of a writer. Are you kidding me? You fuckers are serious. Over or her say or showing showing sketches, Lapidot sketches, and Amadoc fans getting triggered. I mean, then she Lauren Zook said, "Hey, control of how to show it." Uh, these drawings don't affect the show's outcome uh, or affect anything in the future of the show. The drawings, the sketches don't affect anything. Affect the, the shipping is still canon, though. Is there, but, it's not, I, I'm not in control of it. So or, or, I'm here. I'm here. 
a story mode, not online. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so that leads us into. I just been calling it meat mark. Here's my meat mark. This is the only eat is Steven gave me. It reminds me when Steven gave me a leaf. Eef. No, I just feel like that show. <laughs> ah, this is a, this, this is, is, this is another hilarious this is baseball. Pop. This is a baseball oh, oh here. It reminds me of that time we played baseball. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah. No. Okay, so that means the episode is Beta. Beta. Which, well, the second mainly it, it mainly gives us a lap it on the first half. In the second half, it shows us Jack Casper's origin. <laughs> Here we are, Casper's origin. Also, they sparked one of the funniest it's it's thing to come out of stats. Yeah. It's in a long time. Look at the gallery. I I just been calling it memes. Flappus, flappus, <laughs> flappus, flappus. No. No. It. That was that's supposed to remind you. No. <laughs> okay. Hey, flappus, are you gay? Yeah. Are you sheer? Yeah. You know what to do with this. <laughs> okay, so beta. <laughs> well, it's. It was a sex. Better in the first half of this episode, but that's really saying something. It's the first half of an episode getting it all funny was. It's the second half was primarily it was, focused it was less, on. It was less hilarious and more serious and more development. I've never seen the whole this for. Even though, oh, you can take that as an innuendo. You can take it, 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 the talk, the discussion. And also, the whole speed thing, it was a huge fairy dog. And this transition into sketch at the gallery. <laughs> You know, I should do a list on Stet, uh, on Bet, as, as Stet's YouTube poops. You know that? I should do a list on Stet himself. Oh, anyways. Alright, so on to number f five. Number five. Number five? Ugh. Okay, no. No, you're fusion? She's not part of the app. She's not part of the Ironically, Sardonyx is what made this episode so funny. Well, she's for like I said in my video, in my rant, some good things about her. Her personality reminds me a lot of help Metaton. Oh, who's that? Who the hell is that? Sounds sexy. Sardonyx is like a cross between Metaton and Deadpool. Deadpool, no, not for the. Or the, or the bite over the butt this time in the sense that uh, uh, or she, she knows the aware she appears to be aware of the fact that she's a fictional character or an, at least she doesn't, doesn't, doesn't at least she takes things seriously she still cares about the world dead characters like Deadpool just, oh, just they don't give two she doesn't give two shits <laughs> yeah we watched that watch a theory on that okay so okay so they, also, this is the second appearance of of the rec most recent fusion, Smokey Crew. What a beautiful day! Smokey is so adorable. Jasper or fused with a corrupted gem. Jasper watched her mind in a corrupted fusion. I guess she had a short fuse. Things. Also, this little thing made me laugh my ass off. Which one? Wait. Like, Look at that! Hey, little man, and and then say it. She's not actually nice. Still have to pay her. Yes, fair enough. <laughs> God, they have to. I had to pay. Probably had to pay her three hundred dollars. Dollars? No, owing owing that. Okay. Also, footage courtesy of Cartoon Network. Yeah, the episode was a pretty much. Also, that little opal scene at the end. You know, the end. Her, 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 her all being impressed with him. That's, that's an hugging her. <laughs> also, Smokey Quartz is creative usage of, of, of their weapon. Weapon. Mm -hmm. As a girl, Appalachian! Yeah, Appalachian! Oh. Alright, number four. Number four was. You know, this segue is into another uh, 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 episode. Now we call it the end of That has to be. Uh, is the episode I think it is? Mm. Ha <laughs> ha
We don't uh, 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 fuck because you're fat and ugly. Giant woman. <laughs> Wait, what'd you expect? I spent the last time I beat City. Okay, yeah, that one. But I already put that on my like best episodes. Okay, last one I beat City. The last one on, on out of this list. <laughs> one of the last ones out of this list. Number four is number four on the list. Is so. <laughs> This episode was comedy gold. Pearl tried desperately to seem cool. Also, Lauren so Zook funny. wrote this. Also, this is one of Lauren Zook's masterpieces. Easily the best storyboard on the show. Also, mm. she's the one Well, behind. technically, the East storyboarders are kind of writers, but Rebecca Sugar gives the overall plot. The storyboarders just, just control the flow and the jokes. Yeah. Also, here's something I'm thinking. He might not know about the mystery girl. Her name is Sheena. You know, Lauren Duke said, it was a name I thought of in my head, and and, 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 and based on a shirt, or er, 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 my dad, ad, 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 Sheena. That, that was based on, on on the shirt she wore. Yeah, the shirt she wore. She had a punk rocker. So and Warren Zook heavily inspired this character. Yeah, Warren Zook inspired. Yes, I know what you're gonna say in the in the comments. Comments, comments. If we even get any, I mean, you know who this character looks like. Like I know, I know, I know. Oh, it looks like what? Well. Oh, Steven didn't even mention that. And it looks like Rose. Also, wow, bro, oh, you're pretty bad. Ah! Wow, bro, oh, you, whoa, Pearl, you're, you're, uh, that, you're, you're a total bad. Bad. Here's the almost all her bad. Yeah. When, it, when the show, oh, gets, when the show, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, and when the show, oh, 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 nearly swear, nearly drops, drops, drops. Gravity down. Falls did this too. I know. Oh, wait, I'm alone. Oh, I can swear for real this time. Son of a... <laughs> I had okay, to. anyways. Okay, the... Okay, so overall, this episode is comedy gold. And this is bad pro on canon. And also, pro doesn't like pants. She's a... She thinks they're real or unnecessary. Yeah, they are. I think I'll, I'll, I'll be freaking in a bit. There's nothing ain't, ain't good about uh, uh, oh, don't, don't drop, it can drop. Also, there's, hey man, there's amethyst seatbelt. Amethyst seatbelt. Hey man, there's nothing <laughs> lame about seatbelt safety. It's our memes. And then, and, and, and what, episode number three. Who's there? Eric, Eric, what are you doing in my house? Who's there? Who's there? Look, I'm holding up a gun. Oh, Onion Friend. Yes, you might have remembered my review. This is the best episode to come out out, 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 out of this travesty. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by far. It wasn't just even like an eight. Seven. Yeah, gave it a seven. Which means it's a good episode. It was at least you say want to make it was it, it, it was actually funny. <laughs> Funny. First of all, Onion, Onion being the creepy. First of all, Onion is a complete and utter creep. <laughs> he just so apparently he sits around and around in Stevens and 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 cut and 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 and, and cover, ready to steal his chaps. Out and apparently he still has these as his, as his barbecue chaps. Also, is it just me or did Sue the White always appear in the show? Okay then. No, seriously, we've only Hi, saw the Alexandrite. We've only saw the place. Also, Alexandrite barely changed. Changed. Like, seriously. seriously. She barely changed. Oh, the only like, difference. What changed? The, the pants? Yeah, the, the, the legs. A few, uh, the shape of uh, 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 her shirt. Yeah, that's all that changed. No color differences, just. I wonder what an Alexandrite would look like now. Oh, I wonder what, Alex, what Alexander would look like with Amethyst and with his eyes. Same with Opal. Same with Opal. Opal, Opal had to go. design sounds awesome. Opal look has had. Fun fact! Opal has had to go through. Drum roll, please! Three! Three! 
great fucking design. This is the most redesigned fusion in because the show. Because of, 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 of the Pearl Amethyst, this constant design change. Change. Pearl has gone through two designs. Has gone through. Has only been very once. One thing. Amethyst has regenerated. But every time, but for every time, one of them has regenerated so far. Or there's red and I hope it's one of them. Now let's hope we get a hope for pearl regeneration. Also, you know what I mean for a pearl we need to regenerate. Thanks, we get to see old boy. Also, do you know what Aunt, also do you know what Amy Mann said? She hasn't been to the student recording studio recently, meaning there's there's not gonna be any speaking rules by old boy. Fuck. I mean, that still doesn't do for her appearance. She's only ever spoken in, in, in her debut. One in her debut. Yeah. Oh, you Okay, okay, I'm talking about Onion Friend here. Here, here guys, sorry. Alright, Onion Gang, o Onion Friend! And, on Onion Friend. And, and, so, uh, alright, oh yeah, but uh, they got very carried away with this! Oh! 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 Being born? What is this? Um, happy birthday, Onion! What is wrong with you? <laughs> also, gal, girls, gals against the lazy stereotypes. Because <laughs> you've shown. The, 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 the and Steven got to have, have a, a, Steven uh, got uh, the rare explorer gown. Mm -hmm. Also, which one did you mention in the other yeah, question? I don't think. I don't know. Sarah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Sarah. <laughs> I don't know who it was. Okay, so that's about number two. Okay, so no, that was number three. Okay, so number two. What? Who is it? What up? Look at my stare. Is that great? Oh, is it Barmates? Yes, Barmates. What, did you expect Onion Gang? No. The episode was, oh, it, oh. Was, it was funny, but it wasn't as funny as the other one. Uh, as the other Onion episode, as, as Onion Flame. <laughs> but it was still good. Okay, so, the highlight. The highlight of, height of the event. Once again, a highlight of, uh, um, of, 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 this time uh, mediocre. And rather than, and, and, sh and uh, uh, total trash, you know. Yes. Lapis was a complete and utter savage. And seriously, I spent it months in the water. So water was the tomb I lived in for those months. I don't want your garbage. Also, Lapis is so, so pure. H two, oh my god. Also, you number. Also, Lapis is so pure. It's. Say it. Lapida is so pure, it literally made the sky clear. No, seriously, look at these frames. Lapida <laughs> cleared the sky. Yep, Lapida cleared... Holy, holy smokes. They're gonna wipe my precious face off the planet! <laughs> Paradox was so over the top. Lapis was oh. so deadpan. And it's isn't that so why, why we like her? And again, this is another Lauren Zook episode. Yeah, she well, just keeps knocking about with funny episodes. And Lapid Hunt. Huh. I got your number. Also, did I have to bring this up about Paradox? Uh, well, uh, is what Lauren Zook said about her color, her favorite color. Yeah. Also, Lauren Zook said that Paradox's favorite color is not a light, it's not a dark blue. Oh. And yeah, she has a other dark blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 present box. Box for lapis. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so, honorable mentions? Honorable mentions. Okay, Onion Gang, like I said. Were you expecting that? I'll say the list. It almost... If it was a it probably would have. Uh, or, it probably would have made it the list. This is, this is top 11. Um... um <laughs> He's in your back. What? Well, just got way louder than he normally was. Did you turn it up a little? No. Okay, so <laughs> another honorable mention being Giant Woman. I didn't want to put it on the list because, well, 
I already put it on on uh, on best episodes. But that episode was too funny, okay? Also, another episode I like to defend. Mm -hmm. And the people say it's garbage. Right, rising tide, crashing yeah, sky. That was a funny episode. Oh, it, the, you know, it, it was supposed to be funny. Not, let's see. You take episodes that seem rather filler, that seem filler, or, 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 or say that they're or, or, or shit. And they're or garbage. Just try to pan out whether it was trying to be something emotional. Oh, it's I'm or an origami, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm the number one. Do you know what I mean? No, I know. They come out no. by saying it. And the and the funniest episode of it is something I hate. Say so. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ain't I pulled an aura guardian on you? Okay. So, so the real number one one is. The real number one is on his onion. Look, look, I'm Lars. Onion, onion, Lars. Hey, onion. Look, I'm Lars. It did the complete opposite of what Alex thought it would do. I thought it would be an emotional episode, but it was pure comedy. Because Stephen has possession power, as weird as that sounds. But trust me, Stephen Lars' body is one of the funniest things we got to see. see Lars butt naked. Also, Lars is butt naked. No, seriously, we saw his ass. We saw Lars' and, ass. Oh yeah, we got to see Dante and Martha. Lars' parents. Who, who also saw literally said, "Oh boy, look at this quality new mom." Oh yeah, people kind of worship Martha. Uh, also, I like to say Lars, Lars is Laramie. He, and Lars's last name is actually, you remember, uh, Johnson. So we say her name is, his last name is Johnson? Yeah, Laramie yeah. Johnson. Because I think, used to call him Larry. <laughs> he, he, he goes, well, hey, it sounded like, I, like something. It sounded like his name. You no, it's actually Larry Laramie. Johnson. Which is more of, or the trans Lars. Mm -hmm. Or actually he yeah, as well it's a rather very viable idea of course that would cause a little more controversy if unfortunately but maybe you know, like, I wish that could be canon but if all, I wish that could be just stated in the show that that would cause a lot of controversy or see we, yeah. no they just imply I think indirectly imply that also more what Stephen even in flirting with he was Jenny in Lars' body, and Buck's uh, another one of Buck's Buck's, Buck's, Buck's best moments. And so maybe this is this, this is isn't like how Lars would act. Maybe maybe Lars is action. Maybe Lars is action. It's, uh, it's making people feel good. <laughs> also, we got some uh, some shipping sign signs. I, I, Alex, don't like that. Mm -hmm. I love you! No. Uh, you take that, you, you take that, also, the startup of this episode is just plain and hilarious, and fucking hilarious. I heard koalas eat their own, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard koalas eat their own. Wait, is it? No, I heard sloths eat their own poop. Eating poop would be more is more entertaining than this. I'm not kidding. Oh boy, so that's about it. I have to say this and this video is kind of long enough. Oh, uh, so uh, we're well, like 34 minutes in. See you in the next episode. And bye.